guys, sorry about being absent last week. I had a really bad cold and I just didn't want to speak at all. <laughs> um, but I'm a little bit better now. I've had the cold for a week and it still won't go away. So if you get a cold that doesn't go away for a week, you got it from me. So this week our topic is books that were really hyped up that disappointed us. This was an audience generated question and I really appreciate you guys suggesting that. Um, the first book that always comes to mind when I think of this topic is Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. I read this back in December of last year and it just let me down. Everyone was saying how amazing it was and how great it was and I just never really fell in love with it. After it came out, people are continuing to shower it with love and I'm just like, it's not the book for me and that's okay. But yeah, this one just really disappointed me and I cannot recommend it. I, nah. I read it so long ago that I don't even remember really what bugged me about it. I think it was the romance was too instantaneous and like the story was not compelling. I don't know. I don't even remember. I'm sorry. Another book that had a lot of hype is Selection by Kira Cass. This one, okay, so it had a lot of hype in both the positive and negative ways. Um, and so I went into this just completely like blank slate, I don't care, uh, and I enjoyed it a little bit. I thought it was really cheesy and really light and fluffy and there wasn't very much meaning to it, but it was fun, but again I was disappointed because so many people were saying this is like The Hunger Games meets The Bachelor and it's so, um, like smart and, I don't know, some sort of gift to the world. I didn't really find it that profound. I did think it was fun. Like, I didn't hate this book, but I was disappointed considering the hype that it had received. Another book that I enjoyed but still felt did not live up to the hype is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. This book was really good, but it was not brilliant. And people are saying, this is Game of Thrones for teens. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> what really bugged me about this book was that there was so much reference to the novellas that go along with it. and it's clear that they're like, hey, hey, read the novella. And I'm like, I don't want to, I just want to read this book. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm picky, but I was like, stop, stop teasing me, don't do that. I don't know, I did not like that. Um, and also the character, Selena, was just not as awesome as I expected her to be. She didn't do a lot of assassinating for being an assassin. But again, if I had read the novellas, maybe I would know that. I don't know, eh. And the last book I'm going to talk about is an upcoming book that actually comes out this week, and that's Carnival of Souls by Melissa Marr. This is a uh, book that was really hyped up at all the conferences this year, at BA, at ALA. They're giving out masks and t-shirts, and like, oh my gosh, this is Melissa Mars' best book ever. And while I thought Carnival of Souls was actually pretty good, I didn't find that it lived up to the hype. I think the hype just took it too far for me. I was expecting brilliance and this was just a good book. It's not an amazing book or a stellar book or a book that defies genre or whatever. I just, it's fantasy, it's got a couple of main characters in it and that's basically it. It, was, it wasn't anything that just blew my mind. I was looking for a little more out of the world building. I thought, wow, this is Melissa Marr. She knows how to really build a world because Wicked Lovely was the first fairy book that I ever read and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. And I thought she would kind of do the same thing with Carnival of Souls, like start a new thing. And she did not. So, wah. <laughs> I wish that this was better than it is. Um, like, I still gave it four stars. Like, my review is going to go up this week or next week or something. But um, it it was not amazing, and I wanted it to be amazing. Ugh. So those are my books <laughs> that I chose for this topic. I will see you all next week. Um, this is the last time that you'll see me with this background. Um, that's not really much of a background. I have just moved to my new dorm. I filmed this like four days in advance because I wanted to make sure to put something up this week. Um, and then today, Wednesday, is my first day of classes. So <laughs> wish me luck on that and I will see you next time from a different house.